Hi, welcome once again. This is again uh, Javier with uh, Careers Unlimited. We're continuing our discussion in Chapter 8, the uh, penny puncture process. We are in Step 6, which is uh, selecting the vein, releasing the tourniquet, and asking the patient to open their fist. Okay, so previously, I've instructed you to apply the tourniquet three to four inches above. If you haven't already, you preferably want to have the arm in a dependent position, okay? You do not want the arm to be in a horizontal position as it will make it harder for you to collect your specimens. So by lowering the appendage or arm in this case, it will assist you in collecting your specimen. So once you apply your tourniquet, you ask the patient to clench your fist, you will now select the vein. Now, one of the best or easiest choices is your median cubital veins, the ones that lay right in the middle of your anticubital space. Now, while these are mostly visible for most of the time, sometimes they will be more difficult. That is why it is important that you develop and train in your palpation skills. Do not rely solely on your vision, but also on your palpation skills. When you're palpating for a vein, you're gonna be looking for a bouncy feeling, okay? If you have veins in your arms, and you can actually see them and you can palpate them, push down on them and get used to that sensation, okay? It feels kind of bouncy if they're filled, if you're well hydrated, it will feel bouncy and that's what it's looking for, okay? So many times you won't see them, obviously, that's when you apply your tourniquet and then you're gonna start palpating, okay? Now you're not just gonna press too hard or too lightly, okay? So press a little bit gently until you feel that and you're gonna feel along the path of the vein. You wanna know in what direction that vein is going, all right? You're not just gonna palpate there and then insert your vein in a uh, vertical direction. You wanna make sure that you insert your vein in the, uh, I'm sorry, your needle in the direction of the vein. Because if you insert the needle in a vertical position like your arm, most likely you will have blood return, but you will, if you go too far, you're going to lose blood return. Why? Because you penetrate it. Okay, you have infiltrated the vein. By retracting the needle slowly, you may be able to recover the vein. However, the patient will most likely bleed after you remove the tourniquet. So it's important that you apply pressure after you remove the needle. So going back, so you selected the vein, okay? You have to make sure that you clean the sites really well in a circular motion or concentric circles with using your 70% alcohol. You clean it really good in a firmly manner, not too gentle, not too rough, but in a firmly manner, okay? So you do this for about 30 seconds, and then you're gonna point the one corner of your alcohol swab in the direction of the vein, okay? Where you're gonna be puncturing, okay? After you've done that, make sure that you release the tourniquet. Remember, this should not take you more than one minute, okay? Release the tourniquet, leave it there, okay? And then ask the patient to relax your hand, to open their fist, okay? Once you've done that, the next steps will follow, okay? We'll see you in the next step.